Good morning guys, welcome to Vietnam. Uh, I'm really excited to be here. Uh, ever since I watched the Top Gear special about seven years ago where they went to Vietnam, uh, I just thought it was such a beautiful country and I've been keen to get here. Uh, in that special, uh, the guys got 15 million dong, which they thought was a lot of money, uh, to buy a car, but it turns out 15 million wasn't enough, uh, wasn't even close to buy a car, so what they ended up doing was buying motorbikes. And uh, they started in Ho Chi Minh City, or Saigon, which is where I am now, and their mission was to drive up to Ha Long Bay, which is a thousand miles away, 1600 kilometers. So, in memory of what was a great show, I have bought myself a motorbike, and I'm gonna be heading to Ha Long. This is Sebastian. I'll be riding with Sebastian today. <laughs> We're heading to Mune. Uh, that's his bike there. And this is my one here. Uh, unlike Top Gear, we don't have exactly the budget of the BBC. So rather than having uh, 15 million dong, uh, we had about five or six million to spend. So this is what we've, we've picked up. They're piles of rubbish, but they look really awesome. And um, really excited to get on the road. First day of driving. So off to Mune. See you at the next spot. Time for a fuel stop and put some air in the tyres. It's almost about midday. We've been traveling for about three and a half hours. Uh, probably haven't made it as far as we could have in three and a half hours because we took a few wrong turns, but we've now found an uh, American man who lives here with his wife. They're just filling up, getting some fuel. And they're heading to a place that is kind of on the way to where we're going. So we're gonna follow them and stop off at a town. They said there's some hot springs there, so we might even uh, stop and have a soak. It doesn't sound that appealing, considering it's so hot on the bikes right now. <laughs> but I think that once we're there, it's, it'll be really relaxing. So we just decided to stop for 15 or 20 minutes in a little town that we're driving through uh, to give the bikes some time to cool down. We've been running them for a long time and it's the hottest part of the day at the moment. So we'll let them cool down for a bit and wander around here. They've got a lake in the background and leading up to this little area, some really nice gardens that are all very well kept. I think we've got about Probably another 30 minutes of driving until we get to the town that has the hot springs. Right, 
<laughs> Guys, we made it to the hot springs, which weren't your conventional uh, natural hot springs. They've kind of been turned into a swimming pool. We paid two bucks to get into this uh, resort area. And when we went to go actually have a swim, they told us we needed to buy another ticket for the pool. And we're like, well, what was the two bucks that we paid to get into the area? Apparently it's just like a, an entrance fee to look at the pool, so. Just sit in the bathroom and get uh, the entire drink. It was ridiculous. trip than we expected. Uh, it ended up being almost 12 hours on the bikes which was a really long day but me and Sebastian both really enjoyed it. Uh, we wouldn't have had it any other way. It's just so fun being out on the open road and exploring the, uh, the villages and some of the, the rural areas of Vietnam that we wouldn't have otherwise seen if we had have just had a, a normal bus ticket like most other travellers do. So we had a great time. Um, we actually had so much riding to do that we didn't even get a chance to have lunch. So we had a little bit extra in the budget. So we've gone all out for dinner. We found a Mexican uh, restaurant in uh, Mune, right next to the backpackers that we're staying at. And uh, we just had probably the best meal that I've had in the last uh, seven weeks since I've been in Asia. <laughs> I shouldn't say that because it was Mexican. <laughs> um, but it's certainly the most expensive meal that we've, uh, that we've probably both had uh, in that time. But yeah, it's been a great day. I'm really looking forward to the next couple of weeks making all the way up to Hanoi. Um, hopefully the bikes help hold up as well as they did today. And uh, we'll see you again in the next one. Bye.